Welcome back and welcome to my July wrap up. Normally I wait until the first of the month to film my um, wrap up of the previous month so that I've got until like midnight at the end of the month to finish a book. But I'm just going to film this today because I am filming lots of videos today because I'm really in the mood to film lots of videos, so why not? Okay, so as usual, I will break this down into ebooks physical books and audiobooks. So obviously I only have the physical books to show you. Lots of these I have already reviewed. So the link to my blog is always in the description if you want to go and read my review of those. They are also on Goodreads if you follow me on there. Um, it's just fabulous book fiend as it, as it is everywhere else. Um, and yeah, so if you're interested in hearing about any more of these, then um, the review will be on my blog. I also have a video review of a couple of these already up and a video review of a couple of them coming up. So that's exciting too. And if I read these during the Booktubeathon, you'll be able to see them in my kind of mini reviews wrap up. So first ebook I'm going to talk about is Persuading Austin by Bridget Cody. This is a kind of retelling of persuasion and I have reviewed this one on my blog so you can go and have a look at that one. Uh, then on ebook I read Killer Affair by Rebecca Chance. Review is already on the blog and this will be part of my mini reviews for my book Tubathon mini reviews video. Uh, then I have Together by Julie Cohen. I do have a video about this one so I will link that for you so you can go ahead and watch that one find out about that one. Uh, then I read Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you will have seen me fangirling over this one. If you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, I have been quite vocal on there about this one as well because this book was amazing. I have a video of this one coming up. It will probably be up next week, so you can watch that one. Um, but just, I mean, just go ahead and get this one because it's amazing. Um, and then the next one I read on my Kindle was The Summer of Serendipity by Ali McNamara. I think I started reading this one on the plane back from New York actually so right at the beginning of July, 4th of July that would have been um, and I have reviewed this one on my blog so you can go ahead and read that. The next one I had was Chasing the Sun by Katie Collins which came out last week. This was such a fab kind of summary read, it was exactly what I wanted to read at the time and again I have got a review of this one coming up on my blog. Then we move on to The Selection by Kira Cass, which I read during the 24 in 48 readathon. And I read this mostly on audio, uh, on uh, ebook, but a little bit on audiobook as well. It was one of those that I read across the two of them. Uh, and then the final one I read, which was, oh, sorry, kick the table there, which was part of the uh, book Tubathon um, reading I read Some Like It Hot at the Picture House by the Sea by Holly Hepburn and review is already on my blog so you can read a review of that there and I will talk about this one a little bit in my book Tubathon mini reviews video too. Okay moving on to physical books now because these are ones that I can actually show you first physical book I read was Hello Sunshine by Laura Dave. Look how bright that one is. It's so shiny. It's like reflecting away. This is obviously my proof copy. This one is out in hardback and came out on the 11th of July. There is a review already on my blog so you can click to go and see that one. Next a physical book I read was Touch by Courtney Malm. Now I had to take this one back to the library because it was one of those express fiction books that I couldn't renew. Um, I sort of meant to get round to seeing if I could get another copy for the video so I could show you. Um, but this one was really interesting. Um, if you haven't heard about it then definitely go and check it out on Goodreads or on Amazon. I can leave the Amazon link so you can have a look and read the synopsis. Um, I picked it up because I'd seen it all over Instagram and I didn't know anything about it, so I just picked it up in the library when they had it and uh, read it. So that was very interesting, definitely. Then the couple of books I read during the 24 and 48 readathon, The Elite and The One by Kira Cass. These are the ones that I read as physical books during the readathon. I did read this one a tiny bit, 
the play away for this one but I wasn't loving the play away because I couldn't speed it up as fast as I could read it I listened to my audiobooks really quite fast and this was just too slow too slow um, then the next physical book the Crown by Kira Cass, which is the fifth book in the selection series. I read this during the during the Booktubeathon, not the 24 and 48. This is the only one I didn't manage to get to during the 24 and 48 readathon. I read it during the Booktubeathon and used this for one of my Booktubeathon challenge videos, which you can see all my Booktubeathon videos are in the one playlist, so you can watch them back to back if you feel like doing that. Uh, then the next book I read, again, I had to take back to the library, so I don't have it, and there was about 200 people waiting for it, so there was no chance of me being able to show this one to you, and that was Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. I'm going to talk about this one in my Booktubeathon mini reviews video. Um, yeah. Then the next one I read, which I'm going to make a whole video about, this one will not be in my mini reviews video because I wanted to talk uh, in a whole video about this one and that was Note to Self by Connor Franta. You can see why I want to make a whole video about this one um, but this one was just lovely. Let me give you a quick sneak preview of one of the pages that I've tabbed. So, uh, oh. It's got pictures in. I love all the pictures in this book and if you watch the video you'll find out why I've tabbed that particular page. Then the next physical book I read was There Is No Effing Secret, Letters From A Badass Bitch by Kelly Osborne. This one, again, I am going to talk about in my mini reviews video, booktubeathon reviewing video. So look out for that one soon. And then finally, we have Too Fat, Too Slutty, Too Loud, The Rise and Reign of the Unruly Woman by Anne Helen Peterson. I literally finished this one at four minutes to midnight last night, the very end of the Booktubeathon, and so it will be in my mini reviews from the Booktubeathon video. And then very quickly, I will tell you about the audiobooks that I listened to. I listened to Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This was recommended to me on Instagram and I downloaded it from the library and I really enjoyed this one. Um, I haven't written my review on my blog yet. It is going to go up soon though because I do definitely want to write a whole review on this one. Then the next one was Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. I ended up not reading all of this. Funnily enough, I read the majority of it but oh, it just, I couldn't tell you anything about it. It didn't stick with me at all. Not a fan of that one. Uh, then a non-fiction one that I picked up. I saw the physical copy of this one and then went on my library to see if they had an audio copy because I love listening to non-fiction on audio. Um, and that is Grocery, The Buying and Selling of Food in America uh, by Michael Ruhlman. This was really, really interesting. I am going to write a review about this one on my blog, so definitely look out for that one. But again, I'll leave Amazon links to this one below so that you can have a look at this one because it was really interesting. And then two audiobooks that go together that are part of the I Heart Forever book club and my I Heart Readathon that I talked about a couple of weeks ago in my Readathons videos week. Uh, I Heart Hollywood and I Heart Paris by Lindsay Kelk. These were both rereads um, and I listened to them both on audiobook and I have I Heart Vegas which I'm going to start later today on audiobook. Uh, then I listened to The Bookseller by Cynthia Swanson. This one was recommended to me in my book group. Um, so this one is going to be made into I think either a like made for TV movie <coughs> or um, just a TV show um, and so that's why they were recommending it. This book is also about somebody who works in a bookshop and also set in Denver so it was quite interesting hearing parts of Denver because it's set in Denver in the 60s um, so it's interesting hearing how different it was back then. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to review it or not because it was very much up and down for me so watch this space on whether it goes into a books I decided not to review recently or a review of the bookseller by Cynthia Swanson. Now another book I read 
All right, picked up on recommendation. I've been recommended this by a couple of people I worked with and um, by my book group, and that is All the Light We Cannot See. Now, again, I listened to a good chunk of this. I mean, we're talking about more than half, which I don't normally give books before I put them down. And um, oh, I just, I, I couldn't follow what was going on. Maybe this is one that you need to read as a physical book. Um, but it just it just wasn't for me and so this is definitely going on the books I decided not to review lately because so many people rave about it I just it wasn't for me it's just not my thing I think that's what it is then one that I read during the book Chewathon so that will be in that mini reviews video and that is How to Bounce by Lily Singh and then one that I read during the 24 and 48 readers up are we sensing a theme here read a thon. Um, was The Air by Kira Cass, which is the fourth book in the selection series. Another one from the book Tubathon, A Work in Progress by Connor Franta. Again, that will be in that mini reviews video. And the final audiobook that I listened to was Hunger Makes Me a Modern Girl by Carrie Brownstein. Um, this one, again, I will talk a little bit more about in that mini reviews video. So, that there is 20... Eight or 29 I couldn't count I lost count um, books that I read in July I am currently reading Jenny Sparrow knows the future on Kindle um, so today is the 31st of July I may finish this one today I may not uh, so I will be updating on social media and Goodreads about whether I finish that one or not so that one may be part of the July wrap up it may be part of the august tbr look out for my august tbr and you will find out as always all my social media links are below my link to my blog is below so if you want to find out any more about those books i've already reviewed you can click on my blog and find out there i update regularly on instagram snapchat twitter facebook with what i've reviewed that day my video links, my what I'm currently reading, my thoughts on the world in general, so that's down there. I would love if you enjoyed this video, if you give it a thumbs up, especially if you've made it this far, because it's a long one, I've read a lot in July, and uh, if you are not already subscribed, I would love if you click that button and join the Fabulous Book Fiend crew. Um, I will have another video for you tomorrow, um, it may be another readathon wrap up, it may be a little review video, um, but I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.